What's going on guys? Today I've got an amazing video for you because today we're going to be talking about Owned Pro, the sponsor of today's video. Now, I'm not just excited to talk about Owned Pro because they decided to sponsor a video. I think the new integrations and features that they have inside of Own Pro is going to blow your mind, and that is not an overstatement at all. They have recently partnered with Epidemic Sound to offer a plan that integrates that directly into your live stream, which means that you don't have to worry about getting flagged for copyright when playing Epidemic Sound music in your live stream. And that is going to be amazing, especially if you plan on using this somewhere on like YouTube or anything after the fact, you still won't get flagged for it. And it's going to be amazing that they have this integration for you and I think you're going to love it. So let's talk about some of the other stuff that they also do, because if you've never heard of owned, I don't know how you haven't. They've got ads on tons of content creator videos for live streaming, and they're just a really well-rounded service. They make premium graphics for, say, overlays, alerts. They have things like a stream statistic page, which is really nice. Chatbot, social media landing page, donation pages, stream academy, which is really cool if you're getting used to or just learning how to start setting up your live stream and how to promote it. There's actually tons of good tips inside of this there. And the Epidemic Sound partnership, in my opinion, is what takes us over the top and is offering services that nobody else really is. Epidemic Sound has a huge database and collection of music, and you can pretty much find anything that you're looking for in there. And the best part about it is it's all wrapped up into one easy to use dashboard that I think you're going to love and just love the fact that you can set up your playlist and click play from there and see all of your stream alerts and all that stuff inside of their dashboard. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about Owned Pro. If you live under a rock and maybe never have heard of Owned, um, they've got some amazing services like I mentioned in the intro and Owned Pro just kind of takes all of that cool stuff and adds it into a really nice subscription service of pretty much everything you need to be a successful streamer on something like Twitch. And I think it's absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description down below and a code HTT-PRO to save you 50% off a yearly subscription on Owned Pro. Now, without further ado, let's jump over to the computer. So right, now we're over the computer. Let's go ahead and talk about where we're at right now. Whenever you sign into Own Pro, it will take you to the dashboard. And the dashboard is something that you might just want to go ahead and throw up on a second monitor if you have one. And this is going to be really nice because it's going to let you monitor stuff like your event list and stuff from your live stream and really cool stuff and give you access to your epidemic sound catalog that you're messing with and playlist and being able to adjust that. News, tasks, essentially walk you through how to use this and even recommendations for stuff like overlays. But the first thing you'll want to do is download the OBS plugin. I just suggest this because you're probably going to want to use the other stuff other than just the music. So go ahead, download that and it will download to your downloads folder, run that and it will install the plugin for OBS. It should be pretty straightforward. Just run the installer and you should be good. After that, go to tools and then you should be able to click on this owned pro and it will essentially bring up this page that shows you a link to your dashboard, the ability to go to your overlays, alerts, music, um, and your current installs. And it'll let you just kind of see what you've got and what you're able to work with inside of OBS. Now for me, I'm going to go to the dashboard because this is where we can access the epidemic sound. And that's the first thing I want to talk about because this integration is unlike anything that we've seen from other big brands that are trying to compete in this space. So epidemic sound has its own tab. We'll go there and we see the ability for things like sound effects and music. They do have a good catalog of sound effects too. So if you want to use some of those for your stream, by all means, go through here and find what you want to use. Or if you want music, you can go to the music section. And my favorite thing is to create playlists. So I've got a stream playlist created and I have no music in that. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, for my stream, let's say we want to go with more electronic, like background music that maybe isn't too loud and we can kind of adjust that too. But let's go ahead and listen to this. That's pretty loud. So here's what's cool about this. We can actually go in and we can change the different types of moods and genres that we want. So if I wanted more of a smooth sound and go for something that's smooth, try this. 
yeah, let's say we wanted that for the background of our stream. All we've got to do is click add to playlist and select the playlist that we wanted. And if you wanted to add another playlist, you could do that as well. And you could have different ones. Maybe some are for your streams whenever you're gaming or just chatting or something like that. You can adjust those however you want to and essentially just go through here and find whatever music you want. That easy. Um, the playlist, you would just click here and click on your stream playlist and you'd have the ability to control your playback and just go through all of your songs inside of your playlist and it's that easy. And since it does link to your actual Twitch account, you don't have to worry. Let me go to account settings. You can see that it's linked to my Twitch account. I don't have to worry about that account getting flagged for using any of that music in that Epidemic Sound library. And that's where this is really, really nice. You just don't have to worry about copyright. It's not a problem. It's nothing you're going to deal with. So just don't worry about it. Um, that's what's really cool about that. Another feature that's really neat is we can go back to the dashboard and we could actually play uh, music directly through here. So if I wanted to go to my playlist, and start my stream pl uh, playlist and click play. You can actually go back to the dashboard and it stays running in the same thing here. And we've got the ability to control it from here and on this page too. So we can turn that down if we think that's a little too loud. That's, there we go. Say we wanted it right around there and we can even skip songs in our playlist the more that we add. And if you run out of songs, it'll just start playing something else. So it's really neat that you can control that here and even see like the event list for stuff that's going on inside of your stream. So really neat stuff. So that's pretty much all I have for the dashboard and epidemic sound. You've got a nice way to control it and you've got a really nice system that's not going to um, have you worrying about copyright. So let's talk about some of the other stuff that they have. They have a stream statistics integration. I have not streamed in a few months, so that's why you're not gonna see anything through here for me. Um, we can go to the overlay section and we can find really, really neat overlays. This is something that I will go ahead and show you now. Choose your overlay. So yes, you have to have the plugin installed before you can activate designs. So that's great. So we can actually go through here and we could find the same design or if we don't see it, we can actually just search it. I think it was called what? CYPU, CYPU. And there we go. And it's a premium one, but we've got owned pro, so we don't have to worry. We can click this button and it's gonna start downloading our overlay. It's that easy to get this integrated and it's just gonna go ahead and pull all this information. And the good thing about it is it's downloading it to your computer. So it's not utilizing browser sources um, to essentially add all this stuff to your live stream. So give this just a second to download everything it needs and then you should be good to go. So that's went ahead and downloaded. Now we have the ability to go ahead and customize. So if you wanted to go through here and customize, say your social media and stuff like that, you can definitely do so. Uh, what I want to bring to attention is there's cool stuff like a countdown timer that can be added in here. I just turned it off so it's off now, <laughs> but there it goes, it's running again. And we can actually move stuff around on this page if we wanted to, and you could toggle stuff off, add more stuff if you wanted to. Um, there's actually a bunch of customization left in here and it's not like it's one static thing that you have to worry about. And once again, this is a premium um, scenes and stuff like that and overlays and they're constantly, they've got stuff that are moving and they've got also stuff that's like 3D animation. It's really, really cool. And one of the things that I think you're gonna like is if I click on live scene here, we can see that there's audio that's already uh, paired with it and it's already got a transition and it's already set. That's what's really nice. And they also keep giving you customization options whenever it comes to stuff like your live page. If you wanted to say, for example, turn off, what is this? Label webcam, we could turn off webcam and then we could turn off the green screen because maybe we're not using a green screen and we wanted to move this down here. We could go for a stream setup that looked like this or we could turn both of those off and we could turn on this all in one kind of notification like label system, whatever you want to call this down here. Um, you could easily do that as well. We also have a curated list of stuff like BRB screens, ending stream uh, screens, and even just chatting. So you've got all this customization all inside of one thing. And all it took you is essentially finding what you wanted to clicking one button and installed it. And you just change stuff like your social media, which is not hard to do. If you can type, you can pretty much do anything that you need to in here. So super neat, super awesome. 
and we're not done yet because now we've got the alert section. The alerts we can actually set up to uh, configure our alerts for like following, subscribing, resubscribing, you can set up different alerts for each one and we can decide to change individual things about those. That's nothing I want to go into right now because that's a little more advanced for some of you that really want to um, spice up your stream a little bit. And then we also have our alert section of where we can choose what we want our alerts to look like. Now, I'm probably not going to make my alert match what I was using a second ago. Most of the time, actually, let's go ahead and do it. Um, they're really nice. Own does something that I really like. They make sure that if they make an overlay for the most part that I've noticed, they have an alert that goes with and pairs with that overlay. And that's really awesome. Some other uh, graphic design places out there don't do this. And it's kind of annoying to me. I kind of wish it was just all in one. So our alert was now installed and we can go here and then we can go back actually to the configures uh, tab and we can click test and we can test a follower and go back to OBS and we should see, there we go. So that was a little loud, but yeah, you can go ahead and adjust the sliders on that as needed and even move stuff like your alerts around on screen. If you make your own scenes for whatever reason and you wanted to add those in, you can actually click on this button right here or right click and add a new source, if it'll work. I just crashed OBS. We can click this plus down here and we can actually go to alerts and add alerts to say pages that might not already have them and just click add existing and the owned alert that you want to add to that page. But for all of their stuff, I believe the owned alerts is actually tied to them already, which is really nice. So simply just go ahead and click test, drag it around, size it, resize it however you want, and you should be good to go with your alerts. So in this short of amount of time, we've essentially fixed the music problem for live streamers. You now have an amazing overlay and really nice alerts. And what what's next? What else can you do to make your stream better? Well, you can add commands for people that want to come into your stream and want to be able to type in commands to see what you're playing or your controller configuration or your sensitivity on your mouse. You can adjust all that and add commands for those just by simply typing that in and it's really easy. And there's info on giving the rights to the mod for owned, That it's that easy. Just type that in and you're good. Um, there's moderation commands to stop people from spamming, caps lock and stuff like that. We can do timers if we wanted to and even giveaways directly inside of this. Super easy to use and really, really nice. We have some more tools that let us do stuff like a stream countdown. Um, this kind of overrides what should be on that countdown label. So that's really nice and easy to use. So just set that to whatever time you want your uh, countdown to be set to. We've got a link spree. This is really cool. I'm glad that they included in uh, this in this package because this just makes this one more uh, thing of that you just don't have to go to a third party for. You can do all of this inside of owned and you don't have to pay for OBS. This is the only thing you'd really have to pay for and it just makes your live stream way better and it, it's just really nice. So just click on add, add a link name. So we'll just say um, YouTube. Click save and there you go. That's that's all you got to do. And that should link out to our channel. I believe that is our link. There we go. So yeah, you can do this and essentially go down through there and add all of your different links and even update the appearance of stuff like that. So if you wanted to update your profile picture, uh, change the background image and adjust some of these colors, you can do all of that. Uh, this could be a video in itself. And this is once again, just another awesome product that you have in there. We can go to the donation page and we can set a donation page just by clicking this button here, go into your backend settings and just tie into your PayPal account that easy. You get your donations, they go to your PayPal account. You can update your images for this and profile border color and all that other cool stuff. It's, it's easy. You just go through here and set up this and people can go to this page and they should be able to tip you money, which is really nice if you're a live streamer. Um, mine is not redirecting to it right now probably because I do not have my PayPal account linked. Let me go ahead and try that. 
So I went ahead and went into the back end settings of my account just through here and account settings. And then I just set my PayPal email and that actually fixed this link problem. So that's not really a problem. Um, it's just something you need to go ahead and make sure and do because obviously they can't send you money if you don't have an account tied to it. So very easy to do and you can go through there and customize all your stuff out that you need to. So really, really awesome. Now we've got the Academy. This is something I think is really amazing for new streamers or people that just want to learn some more about, say, marketing their stream, understanding just things that they might not really have a good idea about. Whenever you first sign in through this, it essentially gives you like a questionnaire of how long you've been streaming, how many people do you have viewing, what do you feel like you need help with, and it just helps you out so, so much. Um, just go through here and essentially go through the onboarding. They have different lessons of everything to pretty much help you learn how to use the alerts, chatbot, dashboard, pro, make you a pro in OBS. Um, they've got some really neat stuff in here. And as always, we have some really nice videos here on how to tech on helping you with OBS as well. And I think owned is a great complimentary tool for OBS for live streamers. So owned pro is the way to go. Um, yeah, the Academy is a really neat feature. And then last we have the upgrade section, which just has some really cool stuff that I haven't seen before. So they've got like collectible card game for the streamers and their viewers. So this is like a cool game you can play with your viewers and then even the streamer shop. So if you guys have made like affiliate and you want to go ahead and start making emotes and badges and stuff for your viewers, you can actually do all of this stuff inside here. And if you need any kind of like accessory kind of graphic design, they have stuff like offline panels or banners, Twitch panels, profile banners, and some of the other stuff that might not be directly related to live streaming. So you can uh, find all this other stuff that might be in here that could be really, really useful for you. So, all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, get subscribed and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech. Let us know in the comment section down below. What are your favorite features that you've seen from Owned Pro and how excited are you that something like Epidemic Sound is now included in that package? Because I think that is awesome. And the Streamer Academy and all that other stuff that they have in there, they've got social media alerts, uh, overlays, chatbot, landing page for donations, Stream Academy and now Epidemic Sound, they've got like everything you need to be successful in your live streaming career. So it's really awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, check out our code and our link down below. If that's something you're interested in, save you some money while you're at it. If you guys want to further support how to tech, then maybe think about becoming a member, get early access to videos, discounts on merch, community only post and much, much more. Big thanks to all of our members for supporting how to tech. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.